has changed. Right now, you can see that the Chuck E. Cheese is back open and operational. Uh, you, you wouldn't just, you wouldn't be able to guess that just about 24 hours ago, this was an active crime scene all throughout this area. Now, we also know today the names of the victim and the suspect, as well as what could have led to that shooting. Now, Sunday night, North Little Rock police were called to this Chuck E. Cheese just before 8 o'clock for a disturbance with a weapon. While on their way, they got a second call for shots fired. When they arrived, officers found a woman lying on the ground next to the doors of the building. She was later pronounced dead on scene. Police identified her today as 32-year-old Christina Clay of Whitehall. They say she was attending the party of her girlfriend's two-year-old when she got into an argument with the toddler's father, Marlon Marbley Jr. The two stepped outside to talk. That's when Marbley pulled out a pistol and ended up shooting Clay as she turned to walk back inside. While this was all happening in the parking lot, families and young children were still inside the Chuck E. Cheese and had to remain there for hours as police interviewed possible witnesses. There's probably over 40 people in the business at the time, and they interviewed some here at the location. As for the suspect, he's now in custody. Police say Marbley fled the scene after the shooting, but surrendered to North Little Rock Police just after noon today. He's being held on capital murder charges at the Pulaski County Detention Center without bond while he waits his first court appearance. Now, police do say that this was an isolated incident that stemmed from an argument. Like we just said, the Chuck E. Cheese was back open today. We saw families and children coming and going when we were here a little bit earlier. Now, of course, we'll continue to follow this case and bring you the latest updates as we receive them. Reporting in North Little Rock. I'm Kate Renee Saf. Back to you. All right.